Fantastic, exciting, unusual. This series marked a new round in the development of Disney's cinematic vision, a platform for experiments. Once upon a time, the show has captured the hearts of many viewers and continues to have a large and loyal fandom. I started watching it in 2013 and adored it until the last season, which flopped. In this video, you will get to know the facts from the series that you most likely did not know. The names of many of the characters in Storybrooke often agree with their fairy tale counterparts. For example, Mary Margaret Blanchard, Snow White. Blanchard comes from the French word blanche or blanche from white. The name Mary Margaret comes from a real woman who is believed to have inspired a Snow White character named Maria Sophia Margarita Katharina Freifreuland from Erdal. Born June 15, 1729 in Germany. Regina Mills, Evil Queen. Regina is a late Latin and modern Italian noun, which means queen. Regina's grandfather was Miller, so this is a due to her last name. David Nolan, Prince Charming. The male name David means dear or beloved. In the biblical text, it's also the name of the shepherd who became King David after the victory over Goliath the giant. Nolan is Gallic name meaning noble, fighter or champion. Gold, Rumpelstiltskin. Rumpelstiltskin has woven straw into gold in his story. Ruby, Little Red Riding Hood. Ruby is a pink to blood red gemstone. Ashley Boyd, Cinderella. Ashes precede ashes during combustion. Boyd comes from the Gaelic word baide, meaning yellow haired. Sydney Glass, Mira. is just another word for Miro, which is glass. Also, his newspaper is called The Mirror. Sydney's character as the queen's minion trapped in a mirror is like a genie trapped in a bottle or lamp as the master's servant. Sydney's name refers to Sydney Sheldon, the creator of I Dream of Genie. Archie Hooper, Jimmy Cricket. Crickets are sometimes called funnels because they hope to get round. Archie may also refer to a crocoach pot created in 1916 by Don Marquis. Jefferson, the Mad Hatter. Jefferson Airplane has a son, White Rabbit, which uses lyrics taken from the fairy tales Alice in Wonderland. Paige, Grace. In the real world, the Hatter's daughter is called Paige, but in Fairyland, her name is Grace. Grace Lick was a member of the Jefferson Airplane and wrote their son, White Rabbit. Dr. Keith, Dr. Frankenstein. In his black and white fairy tale world, he is Dr. Victor Frankenstein. James Vale was the director of the original Universal Frankenstein and its sequel, Bride of Frankenstein. Cor, Queen of Hearts. Derived from the Latin word, Cor means heart. Zelina, Wicked Witch. Zelina means queen in various Slavic languages, which is actually sounds like Zeloni or Zeleni, depends on the language. August V. Booth, Pinocchio. The Booth refers to Wayne K. Booth, coined the term unreliable storyteller. That is, a brazen liar who misleads the audience. August's fairy tale counterpart is known for lies. Of all the prince and princess pairs who could have been the focus of the series, Snow White and Prince Charming were chosen because Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, 1937, is the first Disney film. One of the most beloved and memorable characters of the series was Rumpelstiltskin. But I'm sure that not all of you knew that the role of Rumpelstiltskin was written specifically for Robert Carlyle. The unusual voice of Rumpelstiltskin was invented by the screenwriter after he accidentally overheard his son and Nate. The latter wandered around the house, muttering something and making unusual high-pitched sounds. The idea came to mind immediately. The man was determined to embody unusual sounds on the screen. It's no secret that making up and preparing actors for filming is a very time-consuming and complicated matter. It took two and a half hours to fully prepare the image of Rumpelstiltskin. It took about an hour to shoot one scene with the characters. Robert Carlyle showed the character differently than it was originally intended to be. Smirks part of the line's actions that do not really affect the plot but reveal it showed the villain from a different angle. The creators allowed the actor to deviate from the script to play in his own way, which led to an amazing result. 
fans of the series continue to think out Agri about the character traits, motives, thoughts and beliefs. Gold's antique shop has become an abode of evil in the most literal sense. Most of the items in Mr. Gold's were brought in by actors. Also in Mr. Gold's store there is a Mickey Mouse toy. I really did not know until recently that, in fact, the show is owned by Disney. I thought they bought the franchise to show a lot of the characters, I mean the original ones. But when I created the Krella review, I realized that ABC is Disney property. Not surprisingly, the project has gained widespread popularity. Time jumps, memories, a familiar concept? Of course, viewers saw it all in the TV series Lost. The mixing of reality, persistent memories made Lost popular. Edward Kittis and Adam Horowitz worked on Once Upon a Time, so the same basic presentation methods are used. The series is crammed with references and easter eggs. For example, the wardrobe that Emma was sent through when she was born is a tribute to the Chronicles of Narnia. And Captain Hook's ship is a replica of Lady Washington's 18th century ship based in Grace Harbor, Washington. Lady Washington has starred in various films depicting HMS Interceptor in Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, and Bridge Enterprise, namesake of Star Enterprise, on a hunger strike in Star Trek Generations. It gave rise to RLS legacy in Disney's Treasure Planet. There are several references to Walt Disney who was once an author. In the fourth season, in the 17th episode, The Best Plans, August Pinocchio refers to many authors, including a man named Walt. And in the fourth season, in the episode 22, Operation Mongoose Part 1, the episode begins in December 1966, citing a recently deceased author and a new author is needed. Walt Disney died on December 15, 1966. The cast of the series also cannot be called mediocre. They also have their little secrets. Joanna Garcia Swisher, who plays the mermaid Ariel, cannot swim in real life. The character Captain Hook appeared only in the second season, although he was present in the script from the first. The creators had difficulties with copyrights for the hero, so the hero's storyline had to be rewritten. Rebecca Lee Motter, the girl who played the antagonist accidentally inspired the writers to create the character. The actress has previously worked with one of the authors of the Once Upon a Time. The man decided to invite Matter to the project, but felt that there was no suitable role for her. After that, it was decided to add a new heroine. The creators took a bold step making Peter a negative hero. Later, fans found out this is not an invention of the writers at all. The author of stories about Peter Pan originally wrote a story about a harmful and evil boy, then changed his mind, creating the image of an evil captain. Literary critics confirmed the information. Rose McGowan appeared in the series as young Cora. It was a pleasant surprise for me. The storyline about Snow White and Prince Charming's second child was written to accommodate Jennifer Goodwin real-life pregnancy. Lana Parria, <laughs> as she says. Parria. Parria. Good. I am Lana Parria. I am Lana Parria. Lana Parria. I am Lana Parria. Specifically asked the writers, I hope that I said it right, Lana Parria. Specifically asked the writers to change the abusive relationship between Regina and Henry. She is also responsible for representing Regina's love interest in season 3, Robin Hood. Tom Ellis, who played the first version of Robin Hood in the second season, was fired in connection with the scandal that interrupted during his high profile divorce. During filming, he struck up an affair with Emily de Ravini, Bell. After all this, he starred in the series Lucifer. In the Jennifer Morrison contract, Emma, she stated she would only kiss handsome men. The script was rewritten and supplemented during the filming. Therefore, in some cases, there were minor inconsistencies and errors. According to the show's official schedule, Emma and Neil met sometime in early 2001. However, Henry was born on August 15, 2001. So if Emma didn't give birth prematurely for several months, which is unlikely, since he was adopted by Regina when he was only a few weeks old, and premature babies often spend several weeks in the intensive care unit after being born. And then at least she had to meet Neil at least in November 2000. 
Prince Charming David George Dallas should have died at the beginning of the first season. We all remember how, having managed to put a newborn daughter in a magic wardrobe, the prince protected her from the evil queen and received a fatal blow. But the writers decided that without David, it would be difficult to continue the show and put the hero into a coma. He ended up in a hospital bed in Storybrooke. He later woke up, but it was still a long time before the happy reunion with Snow White. Jennifer Morrison signed a six-year contract with the studio. After participating in the sixth season, the actress faced the question of an extension. She dragged on with an answer, the creators of the series begged to stay in the TV project. The fans watched the situation with a sinking heart. As a result, Morrison refused further participation, deciding that it was time to part with the image of Emma, upsetting fans and writers. Following the departed main character, the other main characters who were in the series from the very beginning left once upon a time. Gilmar, Goodwin, Dallas and Raven did not renew their contracts, deciding that the story had come to an end. Many came to the conclusion that without the main hero, Morrison, around whose heroine the action unfolded, the story would not be interesting. All good things come to an end, you need to see the time to stop, said the actors. As a result, the seventh season was released on television, receiving not the best ratings from viewers and critics. If you know some more interesting facts about the series, feel free to write them down in the comments. The most interesting one I will pin there. And watch only good movies that make you believe in a fairy tale.